Hello everybody and welcome back to Ascension. I'm not sure if this was here last time, but I remember I did some stuff off camera and I forgot what I did when because it's been a few days. Anyway, uh, yeah, pretty much this area should be mostly the same. I made an ender chest though, uh, yeah, that's one thing I think I did. And, uh, yeah, we go to the map. Uh, one thing to note, the water was different there and some other things because, uh, when the textures updated for water, it loaded the new water like that and the old water like that and I haven't been over here. So yeah, pretty much I went up here and put a teleporter right in there so we can fight that boss. Then I did some exploring and I found a lightning spirit over there as well as a cave and uh, yeah, there was a spider spawner in a cave. I looted and moved on. There's a really cool dungeon thing that I would like to uh, show you soon enough that I avoided going to. There's another dungeon thing. Then I sailed down around because I didn't have a teleporter handy to head back or a crystal wing because uh, I didn't want to leave another teleporter out there and I didn't want to take that one back on to keep exploring. So yeah, I came down here, looped around, didn't find much, came up here, and then I found some awesome stuff and put a teleporter there. Continued up here and I found something even more awesome. So uh, let me grab a weapon real quick and we'll go take care of that stuff. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention, um, I made a bigger backpack, which I just noticed. Uh, so yeah, it just has double the space of the normal one, but we kind of are good on leather now. Uh, let me see, right in here. Yeah, I killed a bunch of cows, we have all that, and we had a bunch of strings, so I decided just to go for a big backpack, why not? I also have a fortune pickaxe, because I figured out how to make one enchanting. Uh, this is a bit of spoilers if you don't want to know about the mod. Also, I'm on some more adamantite, and I want to put that to use, so uh, let me just take that and some mithril out. But uh, if you burn a diamond in the sensor, it increases your chance of fortune, also diamond block or gold block. So I burned a couple diamonds and chained a mithril pickaxe so we got fortune so I could mine diamonds and stuff. Now I want to make a Ethereum pickaxe with fortune so we can get onyx. I'm not sure if I made the diamond furnace before too, but I know I had a gold one and yeah, the diamond goes really fast. Okay, so now let's get this cooking. There, so we'll have some more Ethereum. And with Ethereum, we'll be able to make an Ethereum pickaxe. I'll get fortune on it using little trick by using diamonds. Then I'll go to the nether off camera and work on getting some more onyx, as well as mining some more adamantite so we can get some Ethereum and Cinecite armor. Or at least work towards that. It's going to take a while to get enough. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember these other chests. I realized it was more efficient to make copper and upgrade them to iron because we kind of always seem to run out of iron. I moved the potions over here just because uh, they were taking up space. And I want to make this. Uh... I think it's crafted like this, because uh, pretty much when I'm out exploring, I don't want to leave a teleporter sometimes, but I want to come back to the base. Well, this is a crystal wing, and if I right-click, it will teleport me back to my bed. So that helps if I'm exploring and want to get back quickly without placing a teleporter, which I sometimes will want to do. So I'll just put that in here for now, and I think I'll grab a mithril pickaxe just... Goes. Okay, now that I started that cooking, let's look at the teleporters. Uh, most of these were here. Uh, here because Enderlord. This whole row was new, pretty much. Uh, zombie Village, let's go to first. Okay, so uh, this is the village way up here I found. But in one of the houses, I found something strange. This is a special zombie spawner thing. Here would was where the entrance was, but I kind of broke in and uh, unfortunately the zombies set off the traps down below because what normally is supposed to happen is that uh, down here there's another layer and uh, there's some zombies down there by the way because they're spawning through the floor, but down there there's another layer of this like this with some chests back down here so you'd fall down this hole, little 4x4 four four, and then there were, I think there might have been some more zombie spawners, maybe even another 4. And then you came over here and there were chests, but there were TNT traps, and the zombie spawn and got to him before I could. So, yeah. But anyway, we have four zombie spawners intact still, despite the explosion. I did manage to grab some of the items, too. But anyway, that's what these buildings have. Oh, I think maybe the zombie spawned out there, actually. Huh. Now let's head to the Enderlord area real quick, so you can see this. I had to build it in a little cave, because I was worried about building it out here. But, ta-da, there's the pyramid right over there. And I want to be careful because there might be a mega block. Mega blocks are uh, pretty much a block that jumps up and down and explodes. There's also one of those little things where we made the old zombie spawner at. Now into the lightning swamp. Which I actually didn't build in the swamp because the swamps are apparently very, very dangerous. But yeah, there's uh, one of those zombie spawners again that hasn't been looted. 
I'm not sure if I want to run over there right now. And there's a lightning spirit. But yeah, these are the super zombie spawners. We have one in the village that's pretty much disabled. And that one over there is still active. So uh, we'll try and make a better zombie spawner than the one we have over here. Because that one has a lot more spawners. And this is the place I want to go to. And hopefully we're geared up enough. Okay, I call this place the Battle Plains for a very good reason. Over there is a goblin village. The first one I ran into. And over here is a very rare site, I believe. It's an underground nether battle tower. Yeah. I probably should have got torches. <laughs> Actually, let me gear up and we're going to do the nether battle tower this episode. And maybe the goblin camp or maybe the reverse order. I don't know. But pretty much I decide before we take on the boss, we should try and do some of the other non-boss stuff like that but I didn't find it before the bosses, so yeah. Okay, now that I made it day, I'm all geared up here. Uh, by the way, I didn't put a limit on backpacks just because uh, if you do put a limit and carry more, it drops them, and that gets annoying because it will just force one out of your inventory, usually not the new one. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to try and do it, keep it a practical amount. Like, I don't want to be carrying around a whole bunch of backpacks and just have too many, but yeah, that's a goblin camp. Uh... I think I'm going to do this first. It spawns goblins in that totem we can grind down and make powders and do cool stuff with. This is just a small camp, by the way. So, um, let's see how this goes. I never really successfully beat one of these. I tried in creative spawning myself gear, and they're really hard. So, uh, we also have, um, breakness. So, uh, what the, ah, ah, ah. I wonder how many crickets I just killed. Uh, that's a goblin spawner. I think they have a spawn limit. Okay, it has some chests, but I couldn't configure the chest loot, so it's probably not going to be that spectacular of a chest. And I just realized my head was kind of sideways the whole time. So, ooh, bombs. Okay, apparently the ability to one-shot that makes this a lot easier. Actually, one second. Let me just grab some of this. Put the back back there. Oh, ow. Okay, I'm not sure what tool harvest this, so I'm just. Not sure what tool however is this, so I'm just going to try them all and see which is most effective. Maybe even one doesn't. I don't know. I just don't want to break it and not get it. Okay, it dropped. Good. Okay, so this is a green totem. There's four different colors, but we can grind this down to nature powder. Nature powder can make a nature crystal or a nature orb. And uh, the nature crystal can then make staffs. Scepter of life and upgrade the scepter arcane staff to a teleportation staff. Anyway, I think I'm gonna leave the goblins like this for now because I loot their chests and they don't really have much else they can do. Okay, so uh, here's the stuff we got so far. Apparently goblins are a good source of leather, which is why I didn't destroy the spawners. I might go back there and fire them. There might be a limit to how many they spawn before the spawners naturally are destroyed. So, yeah. Also, what I meant about backpacks, I want to keep it to a reasonable number. I don't want to have, like, a row of big backpacks. I want to have maybe, like, a few big backpacks, the ender and a workbench one. Maybe, like, five, like, three of those, workbench and ender. I don't know. Anyway, I got my health back, and I can build over here now. So, uh, yeah. Let's just build over and see how this goes. I don't think the top spawners will work, though, because it's day. Okay, first chest. Not bad, not bad. We got a lot of potions, uh, strength, generation, and resistance. Hmm. Actually, uh, yeah, I think I'll just, uh, pop the resistance potion now. And I'll keep the regeneration on me, because we're going to be going through a battle tower. And I think I'll destroy the spawners, just because I don't think I'll want to make a nether grinder. And we already have a good bit of grinders. And this one slows you, which is a pain. Okay, spawners first priority. Yeah. Okay. 
Thankfully, uh, Soul Sand works pretty well here, except when I'm trying to hit the skeleton, because I don't want to use my bow up too quickly. Uh, but I don't want to put too many torches, just enough to hopefully stop spawning. Oh boy. Oh god. Uh, 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 mine quick, mine quick, other side, mine quick, mine quick, there we go. Whew, uh, I think I'll not go back up just yet and try and deal with these spiders. I don't think the spiders up there can really jump down, so. Also, I do want to make a grinder of the spider spawner sometime because, well, string's useful. Like birth, but bound leather and stuff. Ooh, wow, we already filled up. Good thing I got all these uh, backpacks. Oh, sweet, we got some uh, lightning powder here. Uh, pretty much I added powders to anything I classified as an overworld dungeon, and I kept some of the more magical stuff, like underground stones and other orbs and such, I think more to underground dungeons. I can't remember exactly how. But one thing I do remember is how I did the battle towers. Oops, missed a piece of string. Ooh, a lot of spiders. But yeah, how I did the battle towers was... Actually, it might be better to just jump right down there and go for the spawner. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Oh, God. Darn poison. Oh, I could probably take it out from up here. Or down here. Not easily. I think I'll have to go up and take that out. Because if there's cave spiders, this is going to make this a lot harder. Especially because I just lost resistance. Darn! I did not see that coming. Uh, let's just grab a tin sword and uh, pickaxe. That should be enough to get back there. No, no. Oh, you <sighs> stupid spiders. Yeah, this is going to be a bit annoying. Oh, well, I should have it this time. I'm going to bring so many tin swords with me, aren't I? Aha! Got you this time. Come on. There we go. Okay, this is what this just had. Yeah, the orbs, I think, were surface side, too. I wanted to make a better source of some of them because they're overall pretty hard to come by. Oh boy, I am actually short on armor. That could explain a bit. Uh, yeah. And if you're wondering why I didn't bring my uh, good sword, I didn't want to use it up too soon because, well, you know, we have that for bosses and I didn't want to use it here and then not have it later. So, yeah, that's pretty much the only reason I didn't bring that. Or brought this instead, I would say. Now let me just finish organizing this and we'll get back to uh, the tower. I think I'm going to leave some of that stuff in this chest. If it gets blown up when the tower goes, oh well. But overall, uh, if I die again, I want to just run back and get stuff. So, yeah. How did you ball? Uh, why does this tower have to be full of spiders? Darn poison. <laughs> Where did you guys come from? I cleared all the ones upstairs. Oh boy. I'm so screwed. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I know what that is now. I know what that is and this just got a lot more dangerous. Okay, simple summary, we're actually underground now, so Deadly World's applying. Sweet, Malnor. Okay, I don't know why all those spiders are spawning up there. I took out all the spawners. 
I think I have to go back up and better light this tower. Oh my god, I forgot these. Oh, that's why I got pushed down two layers. There's a spider right above me, isn't there? I'm dead. <laughs> okay, let's take out this spider before he causes issue. And I fell down that hole and my stuff's right there. Look at this spider. Why can't I hit you? That was a really silly idea, wasn't it? Alright, spiders can climb walls. Yep. Okay, this time I decided to play it a bit smarter and actually make armor. I know, right? So I have full bronze armor on. Because it's the only resource I had for making armor. I also brought some torches so I can be safe and light up these side areas. And try and make sure nothing can spawn in an area that would harm me. At least on the way back to collect stuff. Every time there's a spider hiding on one of those lamps. Are these actually spider spawns in disguise? Oh, crap. Oh, God. Come on! I lit that area! Okay, this is now officially the Spider Tower. I mean, come on, what is it with spiders spotting in this tower? They spot on glowstone. See? That's not the normal place for a spider to be. Oh god, already? Okay, this is just insane! How am I supposed to get to those spawners? Man, I just wanted this to be a nice little episode of me going through a battle tower, killing stuff, getting loot, and then being ready for the boss fight. But, um, these spiders, they're really annoying me. I don't know how to get rid of poison besides using up our very few enchanted leaves. And I need to save those for the ender dragon and bosses. I can't be wasting them on any little spider. Well, it turns out that Spider Tower got so crazy that I need to split the episode into two parts. But to make up for this, the second part will be out in a couple days instead of normally being next week. So, sorry for having to split the episode, but I decided it was better to do that than to make one big 40 minute long episode. And what happens next? Well, you'll just have to wait and see. So, until then, goodbye.